Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Trainwreck Wednesday. I'm Cassandra, and I'm with Pecan Porch Boutique. Um, tonight, we are going to be making over this little ugly duckling here. Um, we're going to be doing some... We're going to be using some uh, salt wash, and we're going to be using a decorative roller um, to get uh, kind of a textured uh, boho look. So um, I'll give just a moment to see if anybody jumps on, and then we will go from there. So um, waiting for a couple people to jump on. Um, hello, Gail. How are you? Um, again, I'm Cassandra, and I'm with Pecan Porch Boutique. Um, we are, hi, Donna. How are you? We're going to be uh, making over this little ugly duckling three-drawer dresser tonight and seeing if we can get it beautiful. So, if you guys saw um, the before picture, um, you can see I've already done some things to it. So, um, I gave it a coat of marquee, which is kind of a red color. Um, I also added some uh, legs on the bottom down here. So when I got this, um, you guys, it was just, you know, it's just a, a dresser that sat flat on the floor. And, you know, I, I kind of like to raise things up a little off the floor. So I ordered these little legs and, um, and we kind of did some deconstruction and some reconstruction. Hey, sister. Um, to add these legs on and then I put this little board on the bottom because Once I added the feet on and raised it up there was a gap uh, from where the the little arched piece that that came on it um, Sat on the floor. So I had to kind of do something to disguise that so so we put this board here and it's just a piece of uh, like um, like paneling that that we turn backwards so so anyway, um, again, I'm Cassandra. I'm with Pecan Porsche Boutique. And y'all, I have rigged up some kind of camera angle today. And, you know, I, I'm just, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't come crashing down. But y'all know, this is train wreck Wednesday. Anything can happen. So, um, but hopefully it won't. Um, so anyway, um, so yeah, so we're going to start working on this little dresser. Now the plans for this dresser tonight is to... Um, first, I want to start off by showing you guys um, this um, DIY dark and decrepit. It's a stain. It's, it's kind of a liquid patina, uh, but you can use it as a stain. And one of the things about it is like it, it doesn't have a smell, you know, so you can actually use this on the inside and not have to run outside. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to be using this on the top. And I'm going to also be using it on this raw wood here at the bottom, um, just kind of as a base coat uh, before I put uh, any paint or anything else on it. So I kind of want to start out by showing you guys this, but the, um, the main ingredient tonight is going to be, we are going to use... Um, this decor roller to um along with some salt wash to create a textured pattern across these drawers here so that's going to be that's the main event but we're going to start out by using some of this dark and decrepit on the top here as you guys can see this this piece was pretty worn um you know it had seen better days is it maybe it's not an antique but it is a vintage piece and so um, so yeah, so some of the veneer was cracking and peeling. And so I'm going to add some of this, um, dark and decrepit and we're going to see if we can kind of bring that back to life a little bit. Hey, Anna, how are you? Thank you for joining. Okay. So, we are going to go ahead and you guys can probably see the top of the dresser. You may not be able to see my head, but that's okay. Y'all already know what I look like. And it really ain't that good, especially tonight. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use um, this dark and decrepit. Uh, it's by DIY. 
and uh, we are going to use it to put some stain on the top and we're also going to use it to put some stain down here on this raw wood um, that I um, that I that I used to cover up that space at the bottom. So, um, and again, you can use this just like a stain, but it dries quickly, you guys. You can use it indoors. Hi, Angela. And you can um, um, you can either wipe it back if you want to, or you can just put it on and use it full strength, just like a regular stain. Only you don't get the stinky. And it dries really quickly. So, so we're going to go ahead and do the top. And see if we can bring back. And I'm going to show you guys kind of what this looks like. It's kind of like a dark. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like a dark, thick gel almost. So just like a stain. We're just going to get it on there. It's a lot thinner than paint, but it's it's it has a its own uh, bit of thick consistency as well. And so hopefully you guys can already see, and I can see right now that it's going to need two coats. But hopefully you guys can already see how it's kind of bringing this, um, this, this dead wood or dead veneer back to life. And again, you can put it on full strength, um, meaning you don't have to wipe it back, or you can put it on and you can wipe it back if you want to reveal uh, more of what's up under it. But I'm just going to be using a full strength um, because this top is pretty scratched up. And I'm probably going to need two coats. So we'll get the first coat on and let it dry. And then we'll move on to our salt wash roller technique. But I really do love this stain. It is just great for touching up. And again, it, it I mean, the, I mean, really, it doesn't have hardly any smell. So if you're doing projects in your dining room, like I am, you can actually use this without having to run out of the house. So you guys should be able to, hopefully from your vantage point, you should be able to see the difference in what this top was and what it is now, even, even with the one coat. Another thing about um, another thing about the liquid patina is that it's already sealed, so you don't have to put a top coat over it because it, it, it is already sealed up. So can you guys see that? Can you guys see the difference in what it was to what it is now? Just that little bit of stain helped this top out tremendously. Can you guys see the difference? Hi, Dorothy. How are you? Okay. 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, that made such a big difference. This, um, this is the DIY uh, Dark and Decrepit uh, Liquid Patina and Stain. Um, and I was uh, just saying that, you know, you can put it on, you can use it inside because it's, it's, it's not stinky. Um, it dries quickly, so it has a lot of good potential. Uh, this stain does so so now let's add a little bit down here and see what kind of effect we get on this raw wood and the reason why you guys I'm putting it on the raw wood um, is because when you're when you're doing raw wood you want to kind of have a back a backing to it uh, so something in the background before you put your paint on especially if you're like me and you like to distress I like to distress back and I don't want to distress back to the raw wood. So if I put this underneath it, I'll have kind of a dark background to distress to. So that's one of the reasons why I like to start off first with, with a stain. And Dorothy, as a matter of fact, thank you. I'm glad you're still on here for a moment. Um, Dorothy actually is the winner, you guys. Dorothy, and I think I'm pronouncing your name right, Dorothy. Dorothy Log, Log? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your right, name right. But Dorothy actually won the naming contest for our little secretary desk, actually right here, that we did last time on Trainwreck Wednesday. And uh, she chose the name Crackling Fern which I thought was so appropriate. So um, so thank you, Dorothy, for naming her. I have your gift all packaged up, and it will be going out in the mail tomorrow. So thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Gail Miller says, can I hire you to paint a piece of furniture? It doesn't need any repair. Just paint it. Sure, Gail. Yeah, I do things on commission as well. So, yeah. So just send me an IM. Send me a picture of it. Um, let me know what it is and kind of what you want done to it, and we can talk about it. So thanks to Dorothy again. Thank you, Dorothy, for naming her. So she now has a name, uh, Crackling Fern, from our last week's Train Wreck Wednesday. So as you guys can see, you see how this... Um, see how this stain really... gets into the wood and so now whatever I decide to do whatever I decide to do to this bottom piece now I have a good um, dark background just in case I want to um, I want to paint over it or and distress it back I won't be distressing back to the raw wood so So that is one of the reasons why, and just the, just the easy use of this dark and decrepit as a stain and as um, a sealer all in one, it just makes it really, really easy to work with. So there we go. So again, I think I'm going to need two coats. Um, but for now, uh, I'm just going to let those dry. They'll probably be dry before I'm done. Um, yeah, and a dark and decrepit is, is awesome. It sure is. So, one of my favorites to use. Okay. So, now you guys. The star of the show. We're going to work with some um, salt wash tonight. So, for those of you that don't know um, what salt wash is, salt wash is a paint additive. Um, and it gives kind of texture to your, um, to your paint piece um, or, or the piece that you're painting. And so, we're going to, and I, I haven't used salt wash. I've only used it once, uh, maybe twice. But I love the outcome. 
So, can you guys see my little table? I swear, y'all, one day this table is going to crash. This is one of those little flimsy, you know, TV trays that, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to hope it doesn't crash. Okay, so my, my plan is, y'all know, train wreck Wednesday, right? There's always a plan. So, my plan is, and I saw, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cristana uh, from uh, Bella Renovare. Um, but she did this piece in this boho finish using, um, I think she used the Dixie Belle texture medium, maybe. But I'm going to use salt wash. And she used a decorative roller. And so I've had this roller sitting around for a while. And it has some just, can you guys see that detail on there? And so she used that, um, she used that to um, do a texture over the drawers of her piece and kind of give it this boho finish. So I'm going to try to duplicate that tonight. So using salt wash. So I've got some, I've got my paint colors. I'm going to use um, Queen Bee. I'm going to use some, which is going to act as my yellow. I'm going to use some Salty Kiss, which is going to act as my green. And then my blue paint um, did not come in today. So I'm going to use uh, Sea Glass for kind of the bluey look, kind of a blue green. I know, and uh, th those lives have been great, haven't they? So you guys, um, um, I also retail Roy Cycle decoupage papers. And so um, you guys have seen me decoupage, I think, with some of those already. And um, so they're having a DIY marathon um, all week, all week long. So um, I think Callie is actually on tonight, right about now. Um, and... Um, so everybody's doing all their projects with these papers. So it's going to be really exciting. And I, I'm actually going to be on the marathon um, on Friday night at around 7:30. So I will I will post in my uh, on my on my page where you guys can go to check out that marathon. But it's it's it. I mean they have been doing some fabulous things. So okay. So and then I have my salt wash. So what we're going to do is. Oh, and I have some of these little um, chip brushes, you guys. These are little cheap brushes. You don't really want to use your good brushes when you're doing um, texture mediums because they will really eat up your brush. So we're going to use these little cheap, cheap chip brushes. I have these little mixing cups. And I have these little tongue depressors that we're going to use to stir with. So I'm going to start out by um, mixing up my yellow first. And again, this is Queen Bee. Just shake it up. So I'm going to be using Queen Bee for my yellow. I'm going to be using Sea Glass for kind of like the blue green. I'm just going to pour some in here. And I usually have these in my FIFO bottles, but, um, but these are new jars. So and then I'm going to pour my. Oh, I said, um, see, I said, I don't know if I said Salty Kiss, but this is Salty Kiss. It's kind of a green color. So I'm going to use that for the green. And then I'm going to use, because the blue paint, my paint came in today, but the blue paint that I ordered is on back order. So I'm going to use this sea glass for um, kind of a bluish color. And it's really not blue, blue, but it, it'll work. Okay. All right, so I got all three of my colors in my cup. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, um, the salt wash. So again, salt wash is a texture. It's a paint additive um, for, you know, for adding texture to your, your paint. So, and it comes in, you know, you can get these big, um, the big, the big jar like this. They also have a medium sized jar and a small jar. So, and um, I do have these available on my website if anybody's interested in trying it. 
So we're just going to start out with a little bit of salt wash. You can always add more. You just want to start out with a little first. And then we're going to stir it up. Can you guys see this? I'm just stirring it up. And you want to get it to the point where it's thick enough that it doesn't fall off your, your stick like this now. So I'm gonna have to add a little more. But you don't wanna put too much in there either so that it gets dry, because you don't want that. We have to have it thick enough so that this roller will make an impression into it. So it's still a little bit drippy. I'm going to add some more. And if you get too much in here, you can actually add um, more paint. But um, see, it's getting a little bit thicker, but I think I just need it to be a little bit. Add a little more here. You can see it's getting, and it takes a, it may take a minute for you to find the right consistency. So it's definitely thickening up. Hopefully this will do it. But you know, it's better to start off putting small amounts in here than to dump a big amount in here and get it too dry and then you have to add more paint. So, so as you can see, it's, it's pretty thick now. And also if you'll let it sit, it'll thicken up as well. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more and then I think we can move on to the other colors. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to let that sit, and then we're going to do the same thing to our, um, our sea glass. Dump some in there and start stirring. This is kind of like better than baking. Well, at least for me it is. I don't care that much for cooking. So again, we, we got three colors going on here. Our goal is to um, create a boho look using this decorative roller. And the, um, the salt wash is giving us that thick texture that we need so that we can roll our roller through. And that did pretty good. You want to really get it stirred up but it's easy it's actually easy to stir in here yeah that's pretty good there okay so I'm gonna sit that here too make some room on my table here and we're gonna do our last color which is the uh, what did I say that was salty kiss this is salty kiss and that's the one thing I like about, um, and kind of why, I mean, there's a lot of good chalk style paints out there. Um, the one, one of the reasons why I chose DIY uh, chalk style paint is because, as you can see from this piece over here, these are usually the kind of pieces I get. They all got something wrong with them. And, um, you know, and DIY paint is really thick. It's a clay-based paint. And um, it goes on. I mean, you can definitely blend with it too, but it's a thick paint. And so it's really able to hide a lot of the, um, a lot of the issues that come with um, some of the old pieces that I drag up. And 
I'm breathing in this salt wash, you guys. Okay, a little bit more. Again, you want it to kind of thicken up, kind of like maybe brownie batter. I would think of something sweet, wouldn't I? Just a bit more, maybe. still just a little too runny and again I can let it sit and it will thicken up on its own so okay let's see Yeah, so you can definitely tell that that has gotten a lot thicker just from sitting. It's still a little bit runny. Just going to add a tiny bit more to each of these. And hope that's the magic um, amount. And I guess I could have had these already mixed up, but I wanted you guys to see that it, yeah, that it does take, you know, just a little bit of adding. To get it in that thick consistency that you, that you need. Okay. Well, let's hope we got this one. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right. Okay, so I think we finally have all our mixtures correct. Now, what we're going to do, I am going to, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the drawer down on the floor, and then I'm going to, um, well, actually, I'm gonna, I'll brush on so you guys can see me brush on these colors while I have the drawers in. And then I think I'll take the drawers down to actually do the roller over. So, so now you just take, and again, use, use these old little chip brushes so that you don't mess up your good brushes. And now, you just take your paint or your texture medium. I'm just going to put it in different places. On the drawer. Right? And again, y'all. I'm just trying something that I saw Kristana do. So we're gonna see if that if this works out. Now I'm gonna take some of my green, which is the um, salty kiss. And I'm not going for full coverage. So remember I'm 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 looking to get this uh, boho finish. So I'm just kind of running these colors together. Right? Just like that, kind of lay them out wherever you want them. Okay, let's get a little bit of the sea glass. We'll lay that in there. And again, we're just running these all together.
It's already looking boho. And again, I'm not going, you guys, I'm not going for full coverage, right? Okay, so here we go. This is going to be our first impression. So I'm going to take the drawer down just because it'll be easier. And I'm going to take my roller. And can you guys see what I'm doing? Take my roller, and we're going to try to get an impression here. So I'm just going to take my roller, start on the end. And with moderate pressure, I'm going to roll through that paint. And can you guys see this? Let me hold it up. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that impression that that made? So that's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can. That's kind of what we're going for. Is that boho kind of textured look. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on the second drawer. And again, y'all, you can lay your colors out however you want to lay them out. And again, we're not looking to have uh, full coverage, right? We're just, um, we're just laying out our colors, our salt wash mixture. Okay, that's the um, that's the salty kiss. Now let's add some of the. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's the sea glass. Now let's add some of the uh, salty click, salty kiss. And again, we're just kind of ro ro rolling these into each other. And this is gonna feel weird because this is this stuff is really thick now. Remember, we made it thick, so. Can you guys see? So this is the salty kiss. Okay, now let's add a little bit of the queen bee. Can you guys see that? So I'm adding the queen bee. And I'm just smushing it in. And I'm running it right into some of these other colors that are on here. And that's okay. Because that, you know. But I'm not going for full coverage because I also have that, um, remember I have the marquee in the background. And I want a little bit of that red marquee to show as well. So, just make sure you get a look enough on here and smooth it out. I think I'll add a little bit more of the sea glass over here in this corner. Okay. All right. So, now let's take this drawer down again. It's just easier for me to um to roll on it when it's down on the on the floor here. So hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe that's better. Okay. So we're gonna again we're gonna take our decorative roller and we're gonna start on one end and with moderate pressure we're just gonna roll across. Okay, so here we go. All the way to the end. And there we got a good impression. Can you guys see that for the... There, that might be a little bit better. Can you guys see that impression from the roller? And it picked up all those colors. 
And so that's going to give us our, that's the makings of our, our boho, um, that's the makings of our boho look. So, um, now what I will do probably right in here, because as you can see, this roller is way too big to get in here. It's actually too big for these drawers even. Um, but what I'll do in here, um, I may leave it that color to kind of break up the drawers. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking. So we'll see. Oh, thank you, Angela. Yeah, so this is the, um, it's kind of, this is kind of taking on a boho vibe, but I'll be honest with y'all, anything that I did to this thing right here would have been better than what it was when I found it. It was terrible. Okay, so we're gonna do the last drawer now, you guys. So I'm gonna start, this time I think I'm gonna start with, um, with Queen Bee, and I'm gonna go with Queen Bee in the middle. Can you guys see? Start in the middle with Queen Bee. Then I'm gonna kind of go up here, this edge here. And then maybe just a little right here. And you can lay out your colors however you want to. You know, that's 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 totally up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this um with some of my salty kiss and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna join these colors together it's okay if they if you know if I smush one into the other that is perfectly fine and I'm just putting them kind of random wherever I want them to go Our last color, let's do this sea glass. I'm gonna do the sea glass in the spaces that I have left. And again, I'm just joining it in with the, with the rest of the colors that I already have on here. But not, not looking to get full coverage, right? I'm not looking to get full coverage because I do still want some of that red marquee that's in the background to show. So I'm just joining these together. And I think I'm gonna add Right here, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my Salty Kiss, right here. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so, and just for the sake of, um, you know, better to, for me to use the roller, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take the drawer out and I'm gonna place it down so I can roll with with it on a flat surface. Okay. All right, so can you guys see that? All right, so again, we're gonna take our roller and just with moderate pressure, you guys, we're just gonna roll right through so that we can capture this, um, the texture from this roller. I mean, the, the uh, design from this roller. Here we go. And just roll right through it. And there we go. So, can you guys see that? Hopefully you guys can see some. I can't tell how much you can see, but it definitely picked up the, uh, the impression on that, from that roller. So.
So that is the makings, you guys, of our um, of our boho finish. Now, one of the things you want to remember is that once you're done with your roller, don't rinse this off in your sink because this texture stuff is is very thick, and you know you don't you don't want to rinse it in your sink. So I have a bucket of water over there waiting. So I'm gonna just when I take this off, I'm just gonna dump it over there in my bucket of water, um, so that um, you know I don't have to. Uh, rinsing in the sink, but I can tell you guys right now. I see that I, I'm pretty I'm okay with these two drawers here But for this drawer here, I kind of would like a little bit of a little bit more impression there So what I can do is I can actually go back With whatever color I want Add a little bit more Here In the corner down here maybe oops and I got some down there I'll go back and cover that up and I can add a little bit more of this texture here and again I'm not going for complete coverage but I can again I can just take my roller and kind of you know start at a point and roll through and get another design um so you know i mean to get a same design so um and i didn't really pick it up really well but i'm gonna try again i'm just gonna start over here i'm just gonna roll through and so it gives me and i can i'm still able to get a little bit of um a little bit more of the design over here and i'm gonna go ahead And wipe that off where I got it. That's one of the reasons why I took the drawers out so that I didn't have to, um, so that I didn't get the paint anywhere where I didn't want it. But again, it's paint, so I, I can paint over. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And I will put that right so there, there it is you guys so I'll move out of the way for just a second for you guys to see hopefully you can see that and hopefully it looks better I think that turned out really well actually so again i'm not going i wasn't going for com complete coverage um yeah anna i am i'm on at uh 7 30. yeah so i was i really wasn't going for a complete coverage here you guys and i'm not quite sure i don't know what i'm gonna do to this bottom piece down here and i don't know what i'm gonna do to the feet yet um but um and i'm not even sure if i'm gonna leave this part here red um but um i do like the way it turned out um i'm not sure if you guys can ca pick, um can see the the uh impression that i picked up from that roller um on on camera but uh once i'm all done with it i will post um an up close picture of it so you guys can see it but what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna again i'm gonna take my roller out of the little holder that it was in and i have a bucket of water over here i'm just going to toss it in here just so it can rinse uh, for a minute and then again you don't want to that's not something you want to uh thanks anna that's not something you want to flush down your down your sink so have a have a bucket of water or something to rinse it off uh, before you um you know before you before you reuse it and, and that that that'll keep you from having to you know kind of rinse it under the sink which I do with my brushes so so um so while we have just a little bit more time um I want to go ahead maybe I think and um you know if you guys want to hang around with me for a few more minutes I'm gonna go ahead and put another um uh second coat of this dark and decrepit on top here 
and see to the touch it's already dry and that's only been what maybe 15 20 minutes at the most so once I do a second coat I'll be done with this with this top once I do a second coat here I'll be done with that so um, So again, I, I highly recommend this stain, you guys. Again, it's really not a stain, it's a, it's a patina. So you can also use it for aging, uh, aging your furniture pieces. Um, and again, you can use it when you stain, if you want to, um, if you want to brush it back, you can do that. Or you can leave it full strength like I'm doing on this piece. And the reason why I'm, I'm leaving it full strength on this piece is because the top wasn't in that good of shape. So there was really nothing for me to brush back. Um, you know, nothing good underneath for me to, to brush it back. So that's why I'm doing two coats at full strength. Just because I think it looks better than what it was before. And again, this is good to use in the house. You know, I really like, um, I love gel stains, but gel stains smell and they take forever to dry. But I do love uh, the, uh, the general finishes gel stains. But they definitely will keep you up at night if you're working and you really shouldn't shouldn't use them trying to work with them in the house you know what y'all and i don't know about y'all but um i'm not sure where everybody is but i'm in texas and it's cold here we don't do cold we don't do cold in texas we do heat and it's cold tonight y'all we're not used to that. So where are you guys at? Is it cold there? Is it cold everywhere? Where are all y'all at? Because like one day this week, y'all, it's supposed to get down to like 12. You know? Let's see. Who had a question? Um, let's see. Uh, maybe use the gel on the board between the drawers and do a second coat on the bottom. I think the legs would be pretty in, met in Metallica gold. Oh, yeah, Gail. Now you speak in my language, girl, when you say gold. I love me some gold. I love to put gold on stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you for that. I may take you up on that. But anyway, y'all, yeah, I love dark and decrepit. I just, I can't tell y'all enough how this stuff has changed so many pieces that I've worked on. With just a little, and you don't have, and it, you don't even use a lot. There's no need to use a lot. It's got great coverage. And again, if y'all remember when we started, what this top looked like, you can see that it looks so much better now. Okay. So I'll probably go back and touch up a few areas um, on the top there. But yeah, that, that looks a whole lot better. Um, a lot, lot better. Um, let's see. Angela, you're in spring north of Houston. And you don't like the cold either? I know. Me either. Woo. I, I, I just... I'll take the Texas heat any day. And then, y'all, the funny thing is, I always be telling my sister, I'll be like, 
you know, I really would like to live in a place where it snows, you know, and where, you know, you get that real pretty snow and, and it actually gets cold in the winter and, and, it, and it's spring in the spring. I, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it. Those negative, uh, negative two and, ne uh-uh. I would not make it. Cause I don't even know how I'm gonna make it this week. Except my friend reminded me that I don't have no place to go. So let's see. Uh, oh, Gail, you're in Fairfield. Okay, so yeah, you you're getting the same thing we getting. But do you like the cold, Gail? Are you one of those people that can stand the cold? Cause I admire you guys. I admire people who can stand the cold because I just, I just seem to freeze in place when it gets cold. So can you guys see how that has really perfected the, um, let's see, Gail, you said, no, you don't like the cold either? No, no, I don't either. I'll take Texas summer heat over cold any day. And a lot of people who come to Texas are like, man, I don't see how y'all stand that heat. Well, give me the heat any day. Cause this stuff here, mm -mm. Okay, so that's almost, look, that I love the way that has turned out from that, um, from that raw wood. From that raw wood that we had. So, you know, she, she might be, um, when I was in Colorado, Rose, when you was in Colorado, it was 12 degrees, girl, mm-mm. You already know your friend can't, 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 I can't. You already know it. Rose, you remember how we used to go to, um, so my Rose is on here and, uh, she's my friend. We, we've been friend, friends for years and she and I and, and a couple of our other coworkers used to go to, um, to the, uh, Cracker Barrel and, uh, we had to have our table in the winter. We had to have our table by the fireplace cause we all be cold. So... Okay, so there you go, you guys. So, um, so yeah, so, so that is, uh, salt wash and decorative rollers tonight. Um, we also did a little bit of dark and decrepit, and we're not there yet, but this little beauty has come a long way, because she was really looking pretty sad there for a while, but I think she's coming together, um, I'm going to go back and look at Gail's suggestion for, you know, what to do maybe with this middle piece here, um, what to do with the feet, um, and see if we can't pull it all together. And then, you guys, this looks kind of faded right now, but I think what I'm going to do on the whole body of this is I'm actually going to use some uh, DIY clear wax. Um, I usually use the, you know, the, the liquid um, sealers. But I think I'm going to use wax this time to really bring those colors out. Thank you, Rose. So, um, so yeah, so it's coming together. It was falling apart, but now it's coming together. So, um, so you guys, uh, again, just before we go, I just want to um, say thank you to Dorothy, Dorothy Log. Uh, she actually won the naming contest for our little um, uh, secretary here, and she named her Crackling Fern. So, um, so that's the name. So, Dorothy, your, um, your gift will be coming in the mail. I'm going to put it in the mail tomorrow, so hopefully you'll get it soon. And you guys be thinking of a name for this. I throw this out there every week. I'd like for you guys to send me a name. Um, you may have to wait till it gets further along, or it may come to you now. I'm not sure. But think of a name for this little piece. Um, we don't want anybody to be without a name, so we're going to name everything. So, okay, so you guys... Um, I guess that's it. 
Um, I guess that is it. I don't think I have anything else. I thank you guys for joining me and for always supporting me. And again, um, we are doing a decoupage marathon over on Roy Cycle Treasures um, Facebook page. And so it started uh, Monday and it's going to run all week long through the 14th. And um, so there's some amazing um, creators on there using this uh, decoupage paper. And um, thank you for sharing, Rose. Yeah, please, uh, if you guys, please sprinkle. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so I will be actually in the decoupage marathon for the first time, you guys. And so, um, yeah, I'm rather nervous, but I'm excited too uh, because uh, uh, Royce has some great... Um, decoupage papers I just I love them and so um and so yeah so I'm gonna be on that um on that marathon on Friday at 7 30 so I will post um on my page on this page I will post um a link to that so that you guys can join me this Friday and kind of see how I do on on um on that side so thanks Gail um, so yeah, so I think that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. Uh, again, I'm Cassandra with Pecan Porsche Boutique. And, uh, you guys, everybody's try to stay warm. Whatever you do, try to stay warm. But until we meet again, don't forget to bud, bloom, and be unique. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.